tell me what has actually happened to you. Scott, he went, you're buying it? And I went, oh yeah, and he seemed quite nice. He started saying how if I was a bit older, he'd go for me. So come sit on Daddy's lap. He started making the comments of, um, I have so much experience that I could show you. And he was like, I can make you feel better in a sexual way. Um, and I don't think that's right at all. Um, he was like, do you want a hug? I will never forget, forget that feeling of the way. I felt like he was just getting tighter and tighter, like just holding me like that. It just felt awful. I was just like, I just need to be honest because we went out to a victim, like especially to a rape victim or a sexually assaulted victim, and I never spoke up. I would ever, ever forgive myself. Bryony's first experience of the police was after violent events in her childhood. When I was growing up, I didn't trust the police because they let me down. The abuse happened for eight years and nothing changed. It got to the point where me and my mum nearly died from it and it shouldn't have got to that point. Obviously the trauma we've had in our past, me and her have never really been separated. I was taken aback, uh, you know, when you rang up, I was a bit like, okay. You know, it should have been the safest place in the world. You know, don't take that away from her, and he did. This was supposed to be my fresh start. This was supposed to be for me to prove people that I can do this. Scott, hey. how you doing? You are to be suspended from GT. This interview is of uh, Scott Yap. My name is Stephen Milkins uh, and I'm a detective constable. Um, my colleague present is... Uh, DC Matthew Bryant. Thank you. Right, um, an allegation has been made um, against you uh, and that is one of sexual assault, uh -huh. okay? Contrary to the uh, Sexual Offences Act 2003. The allegation that's been made against you is that you sexually assaulted Bryony e. Truman whilst at the police headquarters. It's probably a good time to go through some of what the other witnesses said. Jack said that you told them all that you were a very sexual person. He said Scott became very flirty towards Bryony, making comments that he felt were disgusting. When Jack says that you said to her about come and sit on daddy's knee, Bryony sort of leaned away from him as someone would who didn't really want to join in on a hug and that you were gripping her tighter around the waist, pulling her towards. No, that wasn't the case, but it was just one little cuddle. She states that you actually put your arms around her waist and below, she didn't have a belt on, but below her belt line and touched her bottom. That's what no. she's saying over her, over her dress. No chance. I put my arm round the top of her shoulder. She put her arm round my waist. It was for no more than a second and that was the maximum contact that I had with Miss Truman. Okay, there's nothing to suggest that Bryony would lie uh, about this allegation, and I suggest you would know that she wouldn't be consenting to you touching her, her bottom. No, and I wouldn't, that's why I wouldn't do it. Well, I suggest that your touching of her bottom was for sexual gratification yourself. I didn't, I didn't touch her. I am telling you my version of this event and I am telling you, that did not happen. So your version? Well, I'm, I'm telling you the truth from, my, from me. OK. The force has decided not to refer it to the Crown Prosecution Service. It's judged there is insufficient evidence to stand a realistic chance of a criminal conviction. It's not a matter of being believed or mm. not. What we haven't found is the, the proof mm. to say, yep, yeah, we can prosecute that yeah. and we will secure a conviction, mm -hmm. okay? Sexual misconduct is extremely serious. Yeah. That sort of behaviour that you've described and that we found evidence of is not acceptable, mm -hmm. okay? does upset me a little bit that he still gets paid by even in Somerset. As a victim, I'm just kind of like, he's done this and he's still getting paid. I stayed because he was gone. 
I don't think I would be able to stay if he came back. I'd be gone. I understand that being a fear. Yeah. OK? I completely get that. What's happening now is all of that information we will use, that then goes to our appropriate authority who will make a decision on whether or not there is enough information to suggest that misconduct has taken place. You probably, hopefully, won't come back. Because mm -hmm. for me, we don't need people like that in the organisation. They give us the bad name.